Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing something different. Well, I haven't done it in a long, 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 long time. I'll be installing and reviewing a hair from Outre. This is the Outre HD Lace Week Frontal and it's from their Perfect Hair Light Collection. It's a 13 by 6 Lace Week Frontal and it's in the style Katia in the color Dr. Chocolate Cream. I got this for $42. That's $41.99. I don't know how long this hair is, but I'm pretty sure it's more than 16 inches. This is how long it is. I'll definitely measure it after installing it so that you can know how many inches it is. Um, this product or this hair is said to be skin tone with less visible lace and it's easy to tint and conceal. Oh, okay. So there is. So this was attached to the hair. At the back of it, you get all the colors available in this style, how to install it. And when you open it up, it gives you more information about the hair. This has baby hairs. I'll show you guys up close. It comes with some baby hairs. I don't know how obvious it is, but I'll wear it on my head so that you guys can see. And when you flip it inside out, you get two types of lace. Um, this is like the regular lace that we're used to. And this is like a lace that's supposed to imitate your wig cap. But I'll check it out. And yeah, it's something I can definitely cut out. So I, I may cut it out if I don't like how it looks. So it's double laced here, just so you know. And you get two combs at the side. One comb at the back. There is an elastic band attached to the hair and the regular side bands that you kind of clip to the back of the hair, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put this on so that you can see what it looks like before I go ahead to tint the lace. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up already, please give it a thumbs up now. Thank you. So these are the baby hairs I was able to comb out. So this is what it looks like without baby hairs. This is what I look like with the hair all the way forward. I want to show you what the scalp looks like. I'm saying scalp like anyway, you go try to see. The inside lace looks like. It is not the most perfect line, but you guys get what I'm trying to show you. So I'm going to use what is in here to spray or tint the lace. What I have here is my foundation and rubbing alcohol mixed together. I just really like the mixture. It lasts for a long time. When I have to wash the hair, then I have to do it again. Aside that, it's there for as long as it can stay. You don't have to do this by mixing. You can just use your powder brush and your powder foundation and just, you know, brush the lace and you'll be good. But I find that this works best for me. You see that? So because I can't wait for this to air dry, I'm going to use this paper towel to dry it down. So a little got on the hair, but it helps. It adds to the beauty. <laughs> I'll wear this on now. So this is what the lace is looking like right now. Can you see how this just elevated it real quick? Yeah, looks good. Okay, so what I want to do right now is to go off camera to cut the lace. I won't be so comfortable trying to cut it on camera. I don't just want to like do anything and spoil the lace. So in some seconds, you see me trying to glue this on. After cutting out the lace, doesn't look bad it just doesn't look perfect okay um one thing i did not do is to cut the side of the lace it's slightly bigger than my head so what i'm supposed to do is to cut it out so that it fits my ear but today i have decided to let it stay like that and if i don't feel comfortable with it this way i'll definitely cut it out to glue down my wig i normally would go in with got to be glue that's the extreme free spray my edges are very fragile so this is just best because i don't need like 
maximum, maximum hold, but it holds really well. But if you need maximum hold, you can actually use a hair glue and go in with the spray or whichever one you like. But this is my preferred option. I'm trying to wait for it to get tacky. You can use a blow dryer if you have one. I'm trying to play a real life scenario right here to see where my hairline is. So I work with my natural hairline, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to look a bit crazy for a while. Yeah. This way I have all the sides well tied. So it's down and I'll have it on for like a few minutes, five, ten minutes and Come back, take it off so that you guys can see. Guys, I am back. I know I look crazy right now. I already have checked this, just to be honest. I did check it. And I cut this side off. See it right here. So I didn't need to cut much. But here it has laid flat. Can you see? I will cut this later because it looks good now. So I don't want to touch it. So far, so good. Here's what it's looking like. What do you guys think? It looks really, really natural because the hairline has already been plucked out. A little color difference, just a very little, but I'm going to apply makeup now and you see the difference. So I'm done with my makeup and this is what I have. The hair has not been styled. So now I'm going to do a middle parting. So this is what I look like with middle parting. So this is what the side pattern is looking like. So this is the other pattern. Let me know which one you like best. On the paper here, they have like a right side. They have a right part, a center part, and a braid top part. I don't know if I can braid my hair. But maybe in future, I'll try and do this look. Yeah. Overall, I like this hair. I like the yaki texture it has. It's really lightweight. It's really airy. Love, love, love the frontal. Love, love the baby hairs as well because you can't really tell that I'm wearing a lace wig. Of course, it's not my hair, but you can't really tell because of how the um, baby hairs, you know, just makes it look very, 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 very natural. The only con I have with this hair has to be running my fingers through it. With time, it gets kind of like tight slightly not it's not like very alarming all you just need to do is to brush it and after brushing it like so running your fingers through will just be really easy links to the hair will be in the description box so make sure you check it out that's all for this video guys i hope you found this video interesting and educational somehow if you did please give it a thumbs up like it share it subscribe down below if you haven't already if you want more of this kind of content let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching and do have what a blessed day Life goes up and it goes down.